In this video, I'm going to show you how to create charms using inkjet shrinky dink paper. To start out, you're going to want to have your design spread out evenly on a sheet. And digitally, you want to lower the opacity a little bit. When the shrinky dinks shrink in the oven, the colors will become more compact and it'll get darker. And you don't want the color to bleed. What I do next is I cut out the shape and I leave a little space at the top and if this is going to be a charm, I'll punch out a hole at the top so that it's easier to put a jump ring through, put it on a necklace. Then I'll turn up the oven to 300 degrees for my particular brand of shrinky dink paper. And I'll set it on a sheet of tin foil and put it in the oven and they'll shrink. I flatten the shrinky dinks out as soon as they come out with a spatula and that keeps them nice and flat and you let them cool down. So once the shrinky dinks are cooled down, I spray them with a varnish so that the ink doesn't run too much. I usually do like two layers of this and I let the spray varnish dry. Then I put the jump rings onto the shrinky dinks. This part is kind of annoying, but if you're making necklaces, it's necessary. <laughs> I also like to use resin for my pieces. Now, resin is much harder to use than something like Dimensional Magic, but I find that Dimensional Magic smears my work. It also dents very easily, so I rather use resin, which I know will stay hard. So what I do is I try to measure out equal parts of part A and part B and mix them. I mix it up. Now, this particular batch that I made didn't mix perfectly. I was kind of rushing it which you definitely don't want to do. You want to mix your resin for at least five minutes. Resin takes one to two days to cure. So if your resin is still feeling sticky, what you can do is mix up a new batch and just pour it right over and let it harden. I then put the resin onto each individual piece. Now, the reason I use fire for this is because it pops all the air bubbles. So rather than using a toothpick or blowing on it, it's way easier to just use fire. And I think it's safe. <laughs> I then paint the back of the shrinky dinks because for the inkjet ones, it usually has this like layer that's not waterproof, so I rather seal it. Also because they're a little translucent. I have E6000 glue, pin backs and chains to put the charms on. For pins, I just simply put the glue and then I put on the pin back and that's it. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.